Hi, this is Shadi. I'm sure many of you have read the articles and seen the posts titled Jiu Jitsu Saved My Life. Well, this is not technically one of them. So today's story is actually very interesting and it's one of those anecdotes of historical figures and you can just debate them all the time. So you have conflicting stories, but nonetheless, the event itself, it did happen, especially when it comes to this one. So in the first half of the 20th century, Jiu-Jitsu was becoming very big. Um, people like Tani and Uenishi traveled to Europe and gave a lot of lessons. Here you see these demonstrations that happened in Europe and uh, it's safe to say that it was one of those growing uh, disciplines and Germany was no exception. So uh, a lot of people were training, especially middle class and very rich people, of course, uh, they're women, surely. So um, this story goes back to the early 1920s before the Third Reich, so to speak, and it was when uh, Hitler was trying to uh, get in power and establish himself as the savior of Germany at the time. So, uh, as you know, he was a World War I veteran. So, you, I'm sure you've heard of this uh, myth of the uh, British soldier that actually spared Hitler's life at the end of World War One. Now, whether it's true or not, I'm not entirely sure, but um, this one, this story in particular, has some conflicting uh, views or conflicting stories. So, um, this goes back to the Beer Hall coup that happened in 1923 in Munich, uh, Germany. So, Adolf Hitler was trying to uh, steal the state by storm and actually uh, take it uh, with a political coup. So he tried to do it uh, with the infamous, of course, uh, Beer Hall uh, coup that happened in 1923, and there he failed. And of course, at the time, this was considered uh, treason. So he became a fugitive, he was uh, tried, and of course, after that incident, the Hitler that was trying to do that coup he was actually injured and so he ran so the man that actually took care of him was a man by the name of Ernst Hanstengel forgive my German and uh, he was a German American who was pro Hitler and he was his supporter and one of his closest so actually he is the one that uh, told this story uh, in particular so um, he was very close to him up until I believe the late 30s where uh, Hitler's rise to power showed more and more of his true colors and so he decided to defect to the United uh, States. Him of course uh, growing up in the United States and being uh, German American it was very easy for him to do so. So this man actually harbored him uh, in his home and he uh, made sure that he was safe. So he was actually with him when they were trying to do uh, the coup. But of course, he was found and he was later jailed. And this is where he wrote his dialectical, uh, I would say, work titled My Struggle. This is Ernst, you see him in front of you. But before he was arrested and uh, tried for treason, um, he was hiding in the home and he was injured. And so when they did find him, he actually took the gun, hid, and he was ready to take his own life. And so Ernst's wife, Ellen, ran back. And the story goes that she just dissuaded him from doing it. And that's it. However, if we get close to details, uh, Ernst himself says that his wife, Ellen, trained uh, Japanese jiu-jitsu uh, just like you saw in those old demonstrations and she actually used a technique to disarm him which is very interesting considering 
there is a lot of uh, knife and gun disarm in all of those old books of that time one great example i've used in the past is maeda's book there is also many others and uh, many other videos for the weaker sex video that i share a snippet of i can't share too much otherwise uh, it would get claimed but uh, they also share a lot of weapons uh, at the time the the shift was more towards self-defense of course and so she disarmed him and by preventing his death, so to speak, she caused, indirectly caused millions uh, of deaths. So um, it would have been interesting if she she was there to dissuade him um, at the bunker in 1945 because he would have been tried and he would have faced justice. It would have been far more interesting history, in my opinion, than what happened at the bunker. But uh, according to Ellen, she did not say she fought him per se but she said that i was i managed to get the gun out of his hand so i do believe that she might have talked to him slowly and gently and you know he was a nervous wreck they were trying to arrest him and i do believe that she was trying to talk to him and getting to him closely and softly of course and then prying his hands open and getting the gun out or letting the gun fall out of his hand that's what i believe happened i don't believe it was a skirmish because she just said i took it out of his hand but ernst says that she used the technique so it can be used with a uh, verbal uh, de-escalation it's very possible and this is how she actually managed to get the gun out so uh it's a very interesting story nonetheless um they managed to defect in the 30s i believe but that's a that's a different story so the reason why i discussing this is you know at that time kano was still alive kano was actually pushing for japan on the olympic stage there was also the berlin olympics in the 30s so all of it for me is very interesting and um you know at the time nobody knows what he was trying to do or what he was capable of doing and you know to think that kano actually went up uh, to germany in the 30s and uh, hoping for japan uh, to do well in the olympics is is a bit uh, eerie to say the least and the reason politi politics aside and what he did aside the reason why um you know the ideology of uh, national socialism does not uh, abide or coincide with judo values is simply jita kyoe because jita kyoe means mutual welfare for self and others so all of us and it's about growing stronger physically mentally and morally and so you benefit yourself and the society but however national socialism on the other hand it's you know us against them basically and if you read my struggle it's a lot of appealing to emotions and this division that he's trying to create and all of it simply does not align with judo values to to be to put things very simply so if you enjoyed this story please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening